So the first thing we want to do is we want to talk about HO and HA when we're doing a test. So um, we start HO. HO is that my beta is zero. That what this is saying to me when I say beta is zero in the context of this problem is that no matter how long I stay, the tip of mount is going to be the same. It's not going to change. Status quo. And in the alternative hypothesis, Charlotte was talking about that if you stay longer, you will probably leave more tip. So that means that I want my beta, my slope, to be more than zero. Because the longer I stay, the more my tip amount is. Beta, I'm going to define as the slope of the population regression line relating length of stay, which we call x, and tip amount. which, of course, we're calling y. We will do a t-test for the slope beta. And since they tell us, we're just going to say at alpha equal to 0.05. Now we'll check our conditions. So the first one was, is it linear? Um, we saw from our graphs, we have, in the scatter plot, a weak, Positive linear association <clears throat> between um, stay and tip. And I'm not going to write it all out, but you'd write it in the context of the problem. Also, um, a residual plot showed a random plot about um, the y equals zero line meaning that we didn't want to see a pattern in our residuals, and there wasn't, so that was good. Um, what else do we have to talk about? We have to talk about independent. And let's see, knowing one tip amount should have no influence And uh, it seems reasonable that the buffet would have at least 120 customers. This is where the um, n is greater than or equal to 10 times the n, or 10 times the sample size. We also have to talk about its normality. Is it normal? Um, the normal plot 
looks normal, indicating that when we did the normal probability plot, half the data was above the y equals zero, half was below, it was in a straight line, crossed in the middle, that kind of thing. And then there was, what was the next one? Thank you, equal variance. So in the equal variance, um, I probably should have just done the residual down here. The residual plot had equal scatter about zero. And the last thing that we have to talk about was um, random, right? Random, the, um, do they call them bills? What do they call them? The what? That was a random sample. Of what though? Receipts. Receipts, thank you. The receipts, I spell that right? No. Receipts were randomly selected. Okay, so all of our conditions are met. And then next we do the statistic stuff. So now we know that our T is going to be equal to our B minus beta um, all over SEB. And so this is equal to 0 0.03013, which is the one we got from the mini tab table, minus 0. Because remember, we assume that longer stays don't increase the tip amount, so that's why the slope is 0, our beta, divided by the SEB, which is also from the table, 0 0.02448. You can go back and look at that if you want to. This gives me the value of 1.23. So this is my t-score. Don't forget that your degrees of freedom, in this case, um, since we had 12 receipts, is 12 minus 2, or in other words, 10. You likely can find that on your table. And then if I'm trying to find my p-value, it's going to be equal to um, t-cdf, because we're using a t-test. And then we write down our t value of 1.23, and then 99. Bart like likes to use 999. You can do that. It's fine. Go to at least 99. Makes it easy. And then our degrees of freedom of 10. And we find out that our p value is 0.1235. And as usual, since I ran out of room here, actually I can, I can do this. I'll just wait for you guys to get done, and I'll move on to another page. Okay, so in our conclusion, we would say our sample result, or one more extreme, would occur Twelve point thirty five percent of the time, if the true slope, as Aaron would say, of the true regression line was zero. Because remember, we're talking about beta. You could say if HO is true. I like to change it up every once in a while. Since our p value of 0.1235 is greater than 0.05, which is equal to alpha, we fail to reject. H O. That is, 
we don't have a convincing evidence that staying longer at the Asian buffet will result in a larger tip. 